Hello everyone, my name is Ashley and I'm here to make Wix simple. So today we are going over really basic page settings, uh, but features that you might be looking for and not know how to do while you're building your Wix website. So you're gonna find all kinds of tutorials and step-by-step -step instructions for your Wix website here on my channel. You can always reach out to me if you have a specific question that you're really kind of curious about or hire me to help you with your site. So we are getting really simple here today. We're gonna to be talking about pages and how we can delete them, how we can password protect them, and just where to find them and find all of the settings on our editor. So I am working in the Wix Classic Editor today. There are obviously different platforms that Wix has released throughout the years, like Editor X or Addy or Studio, but I'm working in the Classic Editor, so if the settings that I'm pointing to in this tutorial are not visible to you or are different. Um, it just means that you're probably utilizing a different platform editor. Um, we're going to hop right in. So I am on a website um, that I obviously built and I'm going to just show you where we're going to find some of those high level page settings. So over here on your left hand menu, there's an icon that looks like a little page. We're going to click into that and we can see it is called pages and menu. So from there, I'm going to make my head a little smaller. We can see that we have all of our site pages and the menu for our site here on the left hand um, menu. You can hear my chickens in the background a little bit. They are pretty goofy. Um, so for the most part, you're going to be able to find the pages that you're looking for here on this site menu, but you'll notice there are also all of these kind of sub menus. So if you're ever looking to make edits to a page that you can't find kind of out here in the open, you're going to want to find those in one of these sub menus and they are all um, related to a particular app that you've installed. For example, like, um, Wix bookings or the Wix blog or things like that, um, but most of the time you'll be able to find your page here on the main menu. So you can see here on the main menu these little icons next to every page. The little house means that this is the page that's set as my home page. You can set any page to be your home page on your site. Um, well, I shouldn't say any, but any of the pages in your main menu you can typically set to be the home page on your site. Um, that's a really helpful tool for if you are making a landing page, if you've built out a site and you have a landing page that's just kind of welcoming people, um, you can set that as your homepage temporarily so people can't get to your full site, um, but you could collect email addresses or something like that there. Um, so you'll notice there's a different icon next to most of these um, pages on your site menu, your homepage, the four squares, I believe, is like an, an app. So in this particular instance, it is uh, Wix programs. You also can see the little, a little calendar next to this one. This one is Wix bookings. Um, some of these are just folders. So that little icon can tell you a lot of information about the type of page that we're talking about. Um, let's go into one of these pages and see what kind of settings we have. For the home page, if I toggle over to the ellipses, I'm going to be giving all of my settings that I can adjust for this particular page. Um, you can see that it is already blocked out that this one is set as home page. So I, if I wanted to change that, I would go to the page that I want to set as the home page and click set as home page and it would swap them out. Um, you can go at, from just this ellipses and manage some of your SEO basics. So if you are doing the SEO whiz, um, I don't know if it's even called that anymore, but um, that will take you into the page title and the meta description for this particular page. Um, if you're just wanting to share the page, I am assuming that's what the social share is. I've never seen or used that one yet. Um, but say I wanted to hide this page from the main menu, I would just click hide from the main menu and that would take it off of my main menu like that. And then say I wanted to delete it, I would go here and click delete. So I know some people in the process of building your website, maybe you build some pages that you don't want to be a part of your actual website. So um, if you know that you're never gonna use that page again, I highly suggest deleting it, making sure that it's not indexed with search engines. Um, otherwise you can hide it from the main menu if it's something that you think you'll go back to in the future. So I'm gonna click into these settings and you'll see that it pops open this kind of menu here where I can get even more information. Um, it says that this is the name of my page on my menu, um, that I can hide it from the menu if I choose. So the same setting that we saw kind of in that little drop down list. And it's telling me that this is my homepage. I can also get into some advanced um, settings here. Those aren't things that I really play around with. For the layout, you can choose 
to have it standard where the header and the footer are on that page. Or if you're building a sales page, perhaps you're like trying to promote a specific digital product or an online course. Um, a lot of times when I'm making a landing page, I will make sure that there's no header or footer on that page. And that's where you will get that setting here. Um, speaking about uh, visibility of this page, um, in this instance, I'm talking about a home page, so it wouldn't really apply necessarily. But um, any page on your site can be visible to everyone. It can be visible to password holders only or members only. So if you are going to make a page password protected, you will select password holders and then you'll type in whatever password you want. And then you have to make sure you have a delivery system for that password in place. So whether it's an email list, uh, maybe you have like a special fraternity or sorority or some type of group where only people who have the password are allowed to view the site. Um, you would just want to be able to deliver the password to those password holders in some way, either within Wix and within Wix email marketing or say you use like Constant Contact or MailChimp or something like that. The members only option is going to give you a couple kind of sub options where it can either be anyone who becomes a member of your site and that will include them creating their own login with their own password. So you're not having to like email people passwords to get into your website. Um, and then there are different tiers of memberships where maybe there's a free level and then you have certain members that are paid. So you can see here that you can determine which members can access this page um, and get really specific about what role or what membership they have um, access to. Uh, again, I mentioned the SEO basics here. So this will take you now it's called the SEO setup checklist, which I guess is a little bit. I don't know, sounds more professional than the Wix SEO whiz, but um, you can exit this little or pop open in a new tab, the whole setup checklist. I have a video on that in my, on my channel, or you can just kind of do your basic tags, title tags and meta descriptions here, advanced SEO, and then um, social share. So those are all of your site or those are all of the page settings for your particular um, or for pages on your website. Um, I just wanted to walk you through, uh, a lot of people have never like stepped into the settings for these particular things. It looks like, um, I might've made this members only, so I'm going to change this. I'm going to change that to everyone. You can see that when I had members only selected, it puts this little people icon next to my page. I assume if I did a password, it would change to that little password thing, but I want it to be everyone. Um, Different pages are going to have, different types of pages are going to have different settings. So my homepage in this instance is just a web page. But if I look over at the services, that is a bookings page. I can see the little calendar there. And when I click these ellipses, I'm going to be shown different options. Um, so, but just knowing where to look for a particular um, setting, I think is really helpful. Um, so that's it today, just kind of getting you guys into some of these higher level um, features and functions for your pages, showing you where to find some of these important things like finding um, a members only restriction or a password protected page, how to delete and how to hide a, a page. If you have any questions specifically about what you saw in this video, or maybe you're struggling with something on your own Wix website, feel free to say hello in the comment and thanks so much for watching.